video I am going to be doing something quite different. I have never done a video like this on my channel before and I thought it was about time that I joined in on these fun games. So as you can see I have a completely bare face and it is because I'm going to be doing all of my makeup only using a sponge. This is a full face of makeup only using a beauty blender tutorial. Now I really want this makeup look to come out spectacular. Um, obviously using products that I personally love all the time and I'm actually going to be using a few new products as well in this video. Before I begin this video, if you are new to my channel, make sure that you click that subscribe button. Also make sure to click the notification bell because I make videos every single week. Give this video a big thumbs up too at the end if you did enjoy it and let's get into it. The beauty blender I'm going to be using for this makeup tutorial is my all time favorite Juno & Co microfiber velvet sponge. I reviewed this sponge about a year ago. I will leave the link up here for you guys to check it out. I actually bring this sponge out every once in a while too in my video so that you guys can see that I actually am still using it. And I did buy a brand new one and actually I bought a few more because I wanted more of them but then I realized that I overbought too many of these. So I think in this video, I'm going to give away two other velvet sponges um, to two other subscribers. So comment down below your favorite Christmas movie <laughs> and I'll give two of these out. For this challenge, I think I'm going to use two of them. One for like wet products and then one for dry products. And I'll explain a little bit of that right now for you. So what's really cool about the velvet microfiber sponge, um, you can use it obviously for wet products, but you can also use it for dry products. The sponge was created so that you can use it to apply loose powders, blush and highlight, which I think is really, really cool. And obviously you can use it on wet products like liquid concealer, foundation, or for like contouring, which is what a lot of people use their beauty blend and sponges for and it's like so cute and soft <laughs> so I'll give you guys a little close-up of what this sponge looks like it looks really really small but obviously when you wet these kinds of sponges they do expand in size it has a flat surface and then the rest of it is curved and round and then it also has a flat bottom as well so yeah I have two that I'm obviously gonna give away and then I have two that I'm gonna use in this video for wet and dry products or I'm thinking maybe I should use this for like my base. I'm thinking I can also get away with using this one for like blush and contouring. And then maybe I'll use this for like the rest of the products that I'm gonna need it for, like brows, lips, eyeshadow. Ooh, this is gonna be a challenge. All right, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is apply primer. The primer I'm gonna be using is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. Um, this is one of my favorite primers right now because I have been using a Becca Cosmetics foundation. So I think what I'll do first is just apply it on the actual sponge. So there it is. And all I'm gonna do is apply that all over my face. So now that the primer is on, I'm now gonna go in with foundation. I feel like this is a really boring part of this tutorial, but it's necessary. Um, so I'm gonna use my Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation and I am using the color Driftwood. So all I'm gonna do is put like a pump on the flat surface and I'm just going to start applying this all over my face. or did I get tan? Because this is not matching my skin anymore. It's so weird, like <laughs> off camera, it looks really good, but on camera, it looks so much lighter than my actual skin color. <laughs> I just love like how nice this sponge and this foundation blends together. Like it just makes it go on so seamlessly. So that is one layer on the face. I never really have to go in with like a second pump, which is really nice about this foundation. It's just like, super good at covering. And I just feel like this sponge helps just like glide everything on really nicely. Now that that is on, I am actually gonna be using a new product. This one is from Becca. I just got it today. And I just figured like it was kind of 
time to start using concealer again. I am the worst when it comes to using concealer. 90% of the time I forget or I just like don't feel like I need it. But now that it's getting darker earlier and winter is coming, I just feel like I'm gonna need it again. I don't know why my eyes just get like so bad around this time of year. So I'm gonna be using the Becoa Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. And this is the color beige. I actually had um, help from one of the girls at Ulta like swatch under my eyes because I had no idea what color I should get. Um, and she suggested this one. So, because I don't wanna use this obviously, I'm going to apply the makeup from the wand onto the tip of this sponge, just on the tip. And we're gonna apply that underneath my eyes. All right, we're gonna do the same thing to the other eye, just applying a little bit on the tip. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to this eye. Now I'm just using the bottom portion and I'm just making sure that that is setting in. Now that is a really nice concealer. I like the way that sets. Now I have the dry sponge, which is nice and clean. And I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of powder to set underneath my eyes. So I'm using the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder. That is what that looks like. So as you can see, I grabbed a little bit of powder and we are just gonna set that makeup underneath my eyes. Wow, this really does work well with powders. Oh wow, it set that so nicely. That is awesome. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. I am very impressed with this sponge right now. And what I love is that as I'm picking up this powder and transferring it to my skin, it is transferring every little bit. Yay, foundation done. All right, so I'm just wiping the sponge down gently just to get any of that powder off. So originally I was gonna go in with a cream bronzer, um, kind of like to contour my face. However, because I am so impressed with the way the powder set using this sponge, I kind of want to use a powder bronzer instead just to see like how it works. So I am of course still using my Sweet Peach Glow. I had this when it first came out and then um, I loved it, obviously. And then just this like past month, I've been reaching for this a lot. This just helps like make me look a little bit tanner. Um, so I've been really enjoying the bronzer portion in this palette. So I'm actually gonna use the bronzer in this instead of a cream bronzer. Hmm, hmm, I think I'm gonna use this end. So the background end. Whew, wish me luck. Let's hope this doesn't ruin this tutorial. So swipe. Ooh, that picked it up very nicely. Here goes nothing. Now I'm going to blend that out. Now I feel like that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, after doing that, that is what was left on it. I do wanna show you guys what was left. All right, so I re-wet the sponge that I used earlier for my foundation in the front, and I think I'm now gonna go in with a cream blush. Only because I, of course, love this product, and if I can mention it every single time in every video, I would, but it is, ooh, why is it so dirty? <laughs> it is my Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Beam. This is one of my favorite colors on my cheeks, especially since I'm like, kind of pale right now, it works really well. So I think for this portion, I'm going to also use the back sponge. I'm going to apply just a smudge. Very, very little because a little really does go a long way with this product. It is so pigmented, um, but it looks beautiful once you blend it out. And I've actually never used a sponge for the cloud paint. I've always just used my fingers. So I'm really curious on how this is gonna work. And I think I'm just going to start gently distributing it on both cheeks and then gently dabbing that out. I'm also gonna use the bottom portion just to blend that out and upward. Oh 
my god, that went on so well. So well. I'm very, very happy with the way the blush transferred on. Cream products obviously would work wonders with this sponge. Now, I'm gonna go back with the dry one. This is the dry one that I used earlier for my bronzer. And I'm gonna add highlight. And yes, I'm using the Becca <laughs> Opal highlight. This is like their travel size one. I have like 50 of these because I just love Becca. So for this, I'm just going to use the round tip portion. Oh, it's picking it up really nicely too. And I'm just gonna apply highlight where I think I need it. <gasps> yes, this is working. Don't know if you guys can see that, but that is transferring on beautifully. Oh, I love it. I'm also gonna apply some on the bridge of my nose. I feel like for the most part, the easy stuff is on. This is where things get complicated. Eyeshadow, brows, eyeshadow, brows, eyeshadow. I'm gonna go with eyeshadow first, just cause brows is gonna like really dirty the sponge. So I'm gonna now apply some eye primer. This is a liquid product, so I'm gonna use the wet sponge. So I cleaned off as much as I could from the tip in the front where the flat surface is. And I'm just going to apply some eye primer on there. And we're gonna apply that all over my lid. I feel like I wanna continue with powder just because it is working really well. So I am gonna go in with the Gold Lustre Palette from Prism Makeup. This was actually sent to me from Juno & Co. Um, Cause they wanted to see if I wanted to test it out. So thank you so much. It's a really, really pretty palette. So if you guys are curious on this one, I will leave it linked down below. So this is what the palette looks like. It's really like nice and neutral, which is like my style of makeup. But yeah, you have some like really pretty gold, some blushes and pinks in there, a couple of like tans and browns. They clearly know me and my style of makeup. Um, And I think I wanna go with a glittery shadow because I feel like it's only right for this video. So I think the color that is calling my name is going to be this one called Shandon. It's like a really pretty like champagne color. And I just think that that one would be really nice just all over the lid. Cleaned off as much um, from this sponge as I could. And I think I'm gonna go on with the opposite flat side, the tip portion. I haven't used that side yet from the dry sponge. I'm gonna grab some of that color. Ooh, it picks it up very nicely. Well, all I'm gonna do is apply it all over my lid and call it a day. So let's do this. Oh, that went on pretty nice. Hmm. The hardest part about this is kind of just staying inside the lines of your lid. So I'm trying not to like do the most. This came out looking much more golden than I thought, but it's still a really pretty color. I just thought it was gonna be more champagne-y. All right, gonna go on to the other eye. What I do love though is that it is transferring all the eyeshadow on my lid. Like it's not even just a little bit, it's like, it's all on there. Now I'm just gonna grab uh, so a little bit of that color and I'm gonna try to brush a little bit on my bottom lash line. I mean, it's on there. I don't know if I would ever use a sponge though for eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Glisten, which is a darker gold, and I'm gonna attempt to do something with this color. It's a little bit darker, as you can see. I also applied it on the tip. Let's just see what happens. Um, so yeah, I feel like that is as good as this eyeshadow look is gonna get with the Beauty Blender. Next, we have brows. Now, luckily for me, I pretty much have really dark brows. I don't really ever have to apply too much brow makeup, but I still, I'm gonna do it for this video. Awesome, I think that is as clean as it's gonna get. I love this product very, very much. I just can't see myself using anything else on my brows today. So, cause it is like a creamy consistency, I think what I'm gonna do is apply with the little brush that it comes with, just a little bit on the tip of my sponge. So now that is brow product. And I think I can do this. All right, let's see if we can make some magic happen. So it's on the tip and all I need is to apply a little bit up top. It's working a little bit actually. It is transferring a little bit, not a lot like I would like it to, but hey, it's something. 
So I think that is all I can do for my brows with this product. So next we are gonna go in with some lips because that is really the next thing I can think of doing that I can use a sponge for. So I'm actually gonna use the wet sponge because I'm gonna use a liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna use my Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the color My Main. It's so pretty and neutral. And as grummy as this top of the sponge is, I have no choice but to use it. Um, and I did try to clean it off as much as I could before applying this lipstick. So I put it on there and I'm just gonna apply it on my lips. And I think I'm gonna do a dabbing motion. Hey, that worked. I actually like the way it feels too. All right guys, I really think that is all I can honestly do with that sponge on my face, I cannot apply mascara at all with that sponge. It would be impossible. But I basically did everything else. Primer, foundation, concealer, I set my powder, I did my brows, my eyeshadow, my blush, my bronzer, my highlight, my lipstick. I basically did everything I could with that sponge on my face. The only thing I could not do, obviously, was mascara. So I'm gonna quickly dab on some mascara. That is the only part of this video I'm gonna cheat on. And then we can finish this video. So now this is the complete look with the mascara mascara on. I really love the way like like my base, my brows, and my lips came out. I do wish my eyeshadow would have been a little bit nicer, but it was the first time I ever played with a beauty blender and eyeshadow, so it is what it is. So yeah, not bad. I definitely think that using this sponge specifically is what really helped me like the way everything came out because I just find that it's really cool that I can use it wet and dry. So that is really exciting. That is my entire face only using a beauty blender wet and dry. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure you check out the one I have listed here for you. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't already. And as always, I will catch you guys again in my next video. 